Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Diggs. It's a beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. Sunny, 40 degrees out, but oh, it feels so good when you're walking outside. Today, we're going to be talking about Typhon, uh, one of the espers that I have been very excited for. We're going to talk about him as an esper, as a VC, and uh, kind of what his relevance is going to be, because he's a very niche esper in VC. <laughs> Now, I really want to put to rest a couple questions in the comments section from the type in news video. And I responded to a couple of them, but a lot of people were talking about utilizing Typhon with Kadia, uh, with other wind element casting units like Ayaka, for example. And to be honest with you, that's actually not really going to be the best use of Typhon. A lot of those units like Kadia don't really have wind magical attacks and they only really have wind element attacks if you do sub like Spellblade, uh, when we're talking about the specific case of Kadia. Uh, Ayaka has no wind element attacks. So it's one of those situations where it's really easy to think like Typhon might be really good for those units, when in reality, he is not very good. When we're talking about Typhon as an Esper, we're really talking about only three specific units right now in the game. And that's gonna be Halloween Leela, that's gonna be Howlet, and that's also going to be Dario. Now it's true that there are other units who might benefit from the wind element attack up that Typhon does have, but his kit and his stats really lean towards magic based uh, wind element users such as Leela and such as Howlet, and as well such as Dario. Now his kit does give wind attack plus 25. It also gives magic resistance 7%. And it also gives magic pretty substantially plus 20%. So this is really powerful. Best in slot for Halloween Leela. Best in slot for Howlet. And negotiably could be, I think is probably best in slot for Dario as well. Depending on the route that you want to take Dario in this particular case. For damage, it's definitely going to be the best in slot for Dario as well. Now, this is kind of the beginning, right, of the transition to Espers that are going to have more elemental attack associated with them. Uh, Leviathan was kind of the first one. And Leviathan, while really niche, uh, Typhon is also very niche. And particularly with no other way to acquire Halloween Leela right now, that really only leaves Howlet and Dario in the primary pool that can really utilize Typhon. Pair with that the limited use of Typhon's VC, and you're kind of creating a situation in which Typhon as an Esper and Typhon as a VC are extremely niche. They're very powerful for very niche elemental users. Uh, so that's gonna be almost any user with Halloween Leela or with Howlet. Otherwise, you're not going to want to invest in Typhon at all. And I think you should probably stay away from Typhon. He does have other things that, you know, are going for him. He has Earth Killer, he has Accuracy, he has Demon Killer, right? He has that easily accessible 7% magic resistance, but his base stats at Agility 14, Attack 35, are not really gonna benefit any other offensive type units. His Agility is okay, it's not remarkable, and it's just gonna be overall kind of like one of those, uh, for any other unit that's not Leela or Howlet. Keep in mind, Typhon also doesn't have a three-star Esper form yet in JP, so we don't know what his three-star Esper potential is going to be in the future either. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the VC, because the VC is in a class of its own in terms of niche as well. The individual unit effects are gonna have luck plus 10%, it's a wind element unit, it's gonna have magic 30%. That's pretty good if you're Halloween Leela or if you're Howlet. Any other unit is not really gonna benefit from this except for the luck plus 10%. Now the actual stats on the card are gonna be magic 167, luck 32. So kind of going with that magic and luck theme. And then the party effects are gonna be magic attack plus 25 for the party. And then it's gonna be accuracy plus 15. Overall, for me, this is not a very impressive card. Even as a Halloween Leela user, as a Howlet user, Halloween Leela is probably my most used unit. 
I'm not sure I'm going to be using this. Uh, you know, when you're looking at the other limited bestowed effect, specifically for wind element mace users, uh, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be uh, little Leela and Kadia. It's really going to depend as well what this buff is for a magic attack, resist piercing rate up and evasion up. And you also have to consider kind of where this is going to fit in different compositions, right? So what card are you going to be replacing to put this in? If you're running a three man composition, um, Cecil had a really good comment. If you guys don't know Cecil, um, he's the always angry commentor in my comment section. Just kidding, Cecil, we love you. Um, <laughs> I just, I personally love reading his comments in an angry voice every time. Um, but he's a seriously smart guy who made a comment that was like, you know, the card this is probably gonna replace is probably going to be something like Shiva. It's gonna be something, you know, if you're running very specific VC combos um, with your units, it might be hard to slot in, right? You don't really need the accuracy and you're either gonna have to put it on Halloween Lilo or Howlet. It's just, I don't know. I think it would be a hard card to fit and Cecil made that point as well. I'm really not sure where it's going to fit in. I'm not going to level it. Uh, you know, it would take, for me to level this card, what it would take is it would take a magic attack resist piercing rate up of probably at least 20 to 30, which we already know it's not gonna be. It's probably gonna be like 10%, right? Um, but that's what it would probably take for me to level this card because I don't, like I already have a max trousseau, right? So having the max trousseau means I have access to party-wide increased magic attack 35. Like that's already pretty much always used in my compositions. I have a max Rama as well. And I'm not really sure just where I would slot this card in, um, in my compositions. And I'm not sure that I would want to slot it in, right? Magic plus 30%, while really good for Howlet um, and Leela, you know, I feel like I could probably have a better bestowed effect unless I was running a really niche composition that needed the luck and evasion for Leela. So overall, uh, I'm gonna say this is a very niche card, uh, very similar to the Esper. If you don't have Halloween Leela, if you don't have Howlet, you are not going to really benefit from this card at all. Um, in fact, I wouldn't even like register that it exists if I were you. There are, are people out there who might say like, well, it's a good alternative to Trousseau because it gives accuracy and it gives magic attack up. And you know, that makes me really happy. And I really don't, I think Trousseau is probably a better card than this. Um, just overall, I think if you are a new player to the game, uh, this card is really bad for you because it's not gonna generalize like help a broad range of teams and you should probably stay away from it. I think the people who want this card they know that they want this card and they know that the Esper is gonna benefit them. If you have Halloween Leela, if you don't have a maxed out Trousseau, maybe that's when you go for this. Otherwise, skip it guys, take a week off, right? Uh, as always, if you do wanna support me, make sure you use my affiliate link, dig.gs slash coins. You can also support me by going to dig.gs slash offer as well. Um, other than that, um, have a great rest of your day. I will be streaming later tonight uh, from 9 p.m. until 12 a.m. Um, and we'll be doing some type in pulls on reset just because for me, in my niche little world, uh, the actual Esper Typhon is really valuable and I really want him. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your day.